Hello and welcome to episode five. This is the madness has arrived again. Thank you yet again to all of our amazing subscribers. Before we go any further, I just wanted to talk about something else that uh, we need to thank an awful lot, uh, and that is the artist we're using for the show so far. Um, last episode, we had a fantastic piece from Thud777. Um, and this week, we're using some stunning work um, by Greg. Uh, and I do apologize to get your surname wrong, Greg, but uh, Zdnek. Uh, so Greg Zdnek. Um, we've also been allowed to use some artwork um, by Thomas Riger for um, Emerson's portrait, which hopefully will be in this show. Now... All of these artists are actually at the top of their game, and it's yeah. an honor that we've been allowed to use such pieces. Um, and if anyone was seeking commission for some artwork, you could not go wrong with contacting them. And I will put links to their sites in the comments below. Now, we're going to try, as, uh, as RollQuest channel, to showcase artwork from new and established artists going forward. However, we cannot always promise to do so. We'll do what we can. If anybody out there wishes to showcase their artwork via our channel, then please contact me via email, um, which is on the channel link. Thank you very much. Right. Anybody else wants anything to say before we start? Shazbat. Shazbat it is. <laughs> right then. So oh, at the end of last age. session, uh, you had all got yourself uh, into Tugton. Um, and after a little bit of incident in Tugton with a frog folk attack against some citizens, everybody resided in the Toad Leg Inn. Lumi was uh, semi-propositioned by the uh, the guy in charge of Tugton and offered to go on a tour uh, <laughs> tomorrow. But the rest of you then got yourselves rooms. Um, Trace went out to the stables to go and wash using the animal sort of feed bath and some straw and the rest of you headed to your rooms for the night i do believe lumi and ash have got a room together and riv and emrys have got a room together so before you actually go upstairs to your various bedrooms i will say over to you guys We've been out in the open for the last little while, and we've just trudged through a swamp. Now, I don't know about you, you but I wasn't going to say, I mean, I'm used to smelling of animals, but we all we smell. We, I smell of dead frog and bog. I think we all... I don't like the way I smell right now. <laughs> dead bog and frog. That probably is a good idea. Is that a new band? An indie band, perhaps? I don't know. But we need to, we need a bar. Baths, garçon. I don't think it works like that. I imagine that being kind of required. Yeah, well, but, indeed. Uh, um, yeah. Ask the barkeep. You, you two want a bath. You want you a want bath. bath. Uh, absolutely. You're in the room with me. You walk yeah. in the bath. Yes. <laughs> um, That's not an option, by the way. I will share your bath. I, um, I I pointed to Riven Emrys, by the way. <laughs> as, I, as, I look, as, I, as I look a little bit, I'll um. I'll, I'll, after we'll, after toss you. Coin. we'll toss a coin. We'll toss a coin. see who goes first. I'll just oh, explain how the baths work. I if you want a bath, I'm going, I'm going. Um, yes, please. In each of your rooms, there will be a single um, large metal tub. If you want to order a bath, then they will bring up enough hot water to fill that bath, and they will bring some uh, tallowed soap that you can use to have a wash. When you finish, they will get rid of the water. If two of you have ordered a bath in the same room, they will literally, unless you really wanted to, sh to share the water of the other person, which you can, they will then bring up another load of hot water and it will be five yeah, copper yeah. if you Excellent. want a bath per person because they'll have, yes. you have to heat up the water. What, two Rib silver for the four of us? Ash, not so bad. Rib has yeah. money, Ash, so it's okay. Uh, Okay, then. So that would be two silver for all of us, then. Yeah. Oh, in that case, um, Lumi, you don't have anything worry uh, worry about from me uh, sharing a room with uh, myself. Yeah. I said, there is nothing to worry about. Would you like me to put him to sleep, Lumi? 
I'm pretty capable <laughs> of sleeping on my own. I have been doing that for some time. A very I'm sure, I can take care of myself. I, I have no doubt of that. But again, you have nothing. You have nothing to hear from me. Right. Whilst this whole conversation is going on, I will approach the bar or bartender or whoever it is and get the bat actually sorted and yep. ordered. That's fine. See if you can see if you can steal the water. Um, what? <laughs> see if you can steal the water. That's not how this works. But <laughs> I don't think we'll be proof. Right, Put it in so. a bag. It's all yeah. good. Put it in the bag with a stew. Two silver then, yeah? Two silver. Definitely with a stew. Definitely with a stew. Can we put those rock frog's legs in this bag? <laughs> oh, grief. <laughs> You've got a thing about these blinking frog's legs, haven't you? It tastes, <laughs> tastes like chicken, mate. They, you, I would I prefer to think I prefer not to eat. Sorry, I'll do it in character. I would prefer not to eat um, thinking creature. Uh, Riv, you were just asking the barman about the ba the baths. You mm -hmm. paid two yep. silver for four baths. Yep, absolutely fine. They will arrange to bring somebody up and bring up the water when you go to your rooms. So if you're going to your room straight away, they'll start to straight away. If you're going up yep. there in an hour, they'll do it in an hour. And in the meantime, I'm keeping an eye on that. Oh, so juicy coin pouch. Can you give me... Oh, you did. A 94. Yeah, I did. It was a 94. Um, okay. Yes. Okay. You observe him. He takes it to what appears to be a small coffer underneath the bar. I'll do for now. The, the right, tavern right. itself is basically... Or the inn itself is basically emptied. As I said, everybody went back home before it got too dark. They didn't want to be yep. out. In the absolute pitch darkness with potential frogs attacking the town. Yeah, fair enough. In which case, I'll return to the group. Baths are sorted. Okay. So whenever, whenever, oh, you know, we can go up. Still pondering on what on earth was wrong with those frog creatures. Well, they're Not... monsters. That's what no, they do. They ah. seem to be somewhat deranged. Very strange. I'll take it at this point then that Traith has now left and has gone to the stables. Unless you had anything you wanted to do, Traith? No, um, what I want to do is really a thing for tomorrow morning and that's head out to the um, the Standing Stones. But uh, that's tomorrow morning. You can do that at dawn, that. if you wish. Oh, well, I'll go and knock these guys up. If they're not awake, I'll just carry on to the stones. Fantastic. Okay. You knock me up, Traith. Because I'd like to see if there's anything... <laughs> Okay, um, there's only these one... rooms do not have doors on, do they? I uh, say these rooms do don't have, sorry, don't do have, have locks. don't have locks on. No, <laughs> hmm. Emrys and Riv, you go to your room. Mm -hmm. Um, you don't probably have a lot of valuables you can have to protect, but you have purchased a room without a lock. So, yep, are you both going to sleep and hope nobody comes into your room in the night? Start with, I'm going to, I... um, first examine the staff and um, tie you with the possibility of a prime in it, Tony. Okay, we will come to that in a moment. I'll come back to you on that one. Before we head up to our rooms, it's um, Embrace. Yes. Ash. Yeah, I'll rummage in my bag. Been a few days on, the, uh, on, on board um, well, travelling and we haven't been affected, or I haven't been, nobody seems to be affected by this book, and I am not going to be able to understand it, and you appear to have an affinity with paper. Would paper. you like the book? Um, yes. There you go. I'd certainly like to see the book, oh. and I will. Thank you very much. A little light night reading. <sighs> maybe in the light of day may be better with this one, perhaps. Well... That's entirely up to you. Okay. okay. I will put the strange book, Emerus, in your note. In that case, that brings me to you and me, Lumi. We have things to discuss. Uh, now, normally I would have been um, a little bit, you know, maybe I shouldn't have been with you while you were bathing, but I, I think I will stay in the room at least because... You have no locks on the doors. 
and it'll give me a chance to speak to you about our shared item. I think I can do something about the lock situation. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you intend to do about the lock? Uh, yeah, are we in the room now? Yep. They, yeah. um, do you want to do whatever you're going to do before or after they bring you up a bar? Um, after. Can't really do it again, so. <laughs> oh, okay. So they bring up the bath, the first of the two baths. So is the first of the two baths, is that yours, yeah. Ash, or yours, Lumi? Um, you can go first. I shall stand guard. Yeah, I'll, I'll lock the door when we want to sleep. Okay. Good idea. I'm gonna turn, a, turn away from you, and I'm gonna take all my clothes off except for my cloak. I, I won't look. You can disrobe completely. Oh, uh, <laughs> kind of. No, oh, I kind of do trust you right now. So she's gonna turn around so you can't see anything. Um, but fine. she's gonna. Um, so the cloak turns into wings. Um, yeah. She doesn't actually have a cloak, Ash. Um, what she has is very muscle, muscled, leathery membrane wings that uh, she is so used to using the muscles in that she can make it appear to be a cloak. But in fact, it's probably the biggest part of about a nine foot wingspan of leathery blue wings ah. <laughs> <laughs> um i'm still trying not to look but the, um, um, it's sort of wrap it you have, <laughs> you, have to, you have nothing to fear from me but um do, do i have anything to fear from you <laughs> no <laughs> that, that's good i shall um, <laughs> thank you uh, <laughs> Yeah, um, okay, um, yes. Iron Polar. I will yeah. definitely turn my back on you if you do not mind. <laughs> with that, Lumi gets into the nice hot bath uh, with her wings tucked up so she can wash them. I, while, while she's there, I'll actually take my armour off, but yeah. while doing that, I'm actually trying to move the plates around to see what other configurations I can get it into. Yeah, so your armour is um, a very strange... Um, special kind of armor yet again it's of a black weird um scaled material you don't quite know the history of where it came from or if you do know um you're not telling people uh how it came about but the strange thing about this armor is the plates are not static they can shift whether it's by some magical means or what you're not quite sure and there are various configurations for this armor can, that can be in. And you can practice not only shifting them, but at certain points you can try and start willing them to shift on their own. By thought as you're doing stuff, you, you find as you start to try and move stuff, sometimes you're not even going to move it and it shifts slightly. Okay, that's something that's going to be um, have to be worked on. Um, but um, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm shifting it around and then I will just take it off. Unfortunately, what I've got underneath is the remains of my old clothes. I'm thinking, hmm, do you think possibly tomorrow we should uh, see if there's any clothing available? Yes, probably should. I shall stand guard. Your secret is safe. <laughs> if it is indeed a secret. Well, trust you guys, just mm. the people, you know. Indeed. You need to trust someone. Uh, oh, you're always looking over your shoulder. Mm -hmm. And I shall wait for my turn. Okay. Okay. So, um, Lumi, you're happy to bathe in the very hot water that's not... That I'm going to freeze the water. Um, so you're in the bathtub and you concentrate. And in doing so, the heat slowly dissipates. And after a moment or two, pieces of ice start to form on the top of the water. It starts to seem like a mush. Um, at which point she stops <laughs> focusing and concentrating. 
and seems to be more happier to bathe in this ice bath like she's just become some kind of super athlete and yeah, like those and that's ice baths going. that the athletes <laughs> sit in <laughs> yes i yeah I'm, I'm i'm astringently not looking at a bath full of women with bat wings <laughs> 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 yes okay so quickly moving on so after lumi has just had a very strange bath <laughs> um we will quickly move on to Anybody else wish to do anything in particular with their bath? Or can we just pass on now? Just bath. Just bath. <laughs> bath. Yeah. yeah. I, think we, I think we've got plenty of weird already. Okay. I'm getting new, I'm getting new hot water showed up. Yeah, I was going to say, Ash is going to have one out of a cold bath. I'm not having cold bath. I'm waiting for the hot water. Good grief. A cold bath. <laughs> That's fine. Not again. The 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 people, basically, the the... The, the waitresses, etc., in the tavern turn up to take away the bath water once you finish and, to, and to refresh it. They look very strangely at the bath water in your room and think, Why is it full of ice? Um, <laughs> they don't ask any questions. Good. Why, why swimming? <laughs> yeah. But they bring you the second lot of bath water so everybody can finish their bathing. And now we can come to the fact that, Lumi, you wanted to do something about the lock, I think you said before you slept. Oh, yeah. Uh, if we're not going to leave the room again, I will uh, freeze the sides of the door so it can't open from the outside. <laughs> Make sense? Yes, okay. You yeah. concentrate and you touch the edges of the door. You see, Ash, that the door frame kind of cracks and makes a few horrible noises as a frost kind of grows across the door all the way along the edges and she has frozen you locked into the room with her brilliant <laughs> oh, she's suddenly fine. doubting why it is he should have stayed with her <laughs> i'm beginning to doubt my life choices um, um you, you have, might have warped the door i might have to kick it off the hinges at some point in the middle of the night if anything happens Try not to overly damage our establishment, gentlemen and ladies. Please. <laughs> um, our first, we have a week to get rid of. God. I think, I think this might not be the best place to be. I think maybe we should look for other arrangements. But we'll do that what tomorrow. Mean, like a shed with you two. Right. <laughs> I think we should. I think we should look for other arrangements. We'll talk to the others about it in the morning. I will pop upstairs. back across to <clears throat> Emrys. Emrys, did you want to do anything before you slept with regards to the book on the staff? Uh, yeah. Um, during the night, I'm not going to look at the book, but I'm going to see what the prime level on the staff is. Um, term. So this so is the staff. What its ability is yeah. for acceptance. So this is a staff, everybody, that um, he originally discovered... Um, in an old ruin back where he's from and that it had power still emanating from it uh which is obviously very strange in the current situation because most things have lost their magical powers um i will make sure that i pass you now the view on your sheet yeah, it's on your sheet now, Emrys. You can see the details of your staff. If you wish okay. to try and unlock or review any of the abilities, I have listed any particular roles or functions you wish you need to, uh, to take. Let me uh, have a look. Right, so while he's doing that, I'm assuming the rest of you are sleeping. Uh, Trace, you're fine outside in the stables. I, I would actually turn for your man. I would firstly what what sort of like size rooms do we have? Are there places we could easily hide items in? Not really. These are pretty plain rooms. Uh there's two beds in there, as I said, mainly made of straw. There's a bathtub in there. Uh mm -hmm. and there's really not much else. I mean there's like a little table and a chair and, and that's about it. They're quite small, they're very cheap. Um so there's no lock on you, so there's no point in anybody putting anything in your value. Mm. Um, there is a no, there, 
the um there is a little doorknob uh there's a coffer uh, not a coffer uh, a little chest sorry a trunk at the end of the beds that you can stick clothes in uh when you undress but mm -hmm. other than that that's about it all right i'm going to take the chair after we're done with our baths and all the rest of it and jam it against the the doorknob so okay. someone trying to get in can't basically uh and i will have my little slow steel dagger with me on my person beneath my pillow as I sleep. Okay. You, you were expecting pillows? <laughs> or whatever else is there. Fine. I'm just teasing. If you were really good, you could train all the lice in the bed to just climb underneath your head. Yeah. <laughs> and prop you up. <laughs> okay. Um... So, with no further ado then, um, I know, Emrys, that you potentially are still looking at your stuff. We can shift to the dawn. And Trace probably gets woken up first by various animals out by the stables uh, and a rooster, etc. And things making noises at the, the first moment of dawn. But he's used to being um, outside, so this is the perfect time to wake for him. Trace, you're awake. You're in the stables. Uh, give it a stretch. Um, just make sure all those creaky limbs aren't quite so creaky anymore. And then um, wander on over a um, couple of cupfuls out of the water trough. Uh, wander on over to the toad leg um, across the road. Yep. And uh, they didn't tell me what rooms they were in upstairs. It's all right. I'm sure I can work it out. Uh, if the door is open, I'll wander in and head up towards the, where the, uh, the rooms are. Yeah, you can he head into the the toad leg in. Um, other than the common room, which is downstairs, uh, it's obvious which are the the cheaper rooms uh, on the first flight as you go up. Um, they're nothing special. Um, there are a, a few of them, and the first thing you notice is one of them has got a heavy frost around the whole door frame, which is a bit strange. I'll give it a knock and tell Emrys to get up. Okay. Um, you then some of the other doors are uh, open. You systematically are on the other few. You could basically open them, have a quick look in, and realize that maybe uh, that person very drunkenly laying on the bed was somebody from the night before. Uh, and eventually you will get the one where you can't open. It's like stuck for some reason. Uh, I will knock it and tell Ash that his room was secure all night and it's time to uh, get up. No worries. In my worst oh, yeah. Ash impersonation, I will simply respond with, all right. <laughs> I'm, like, like, I'm lying on the bed with a two-handed sword like this one. <laughs> <I'm like. laughs> uh, and then uh, head down to the inn. Um, we paid for breakfast as well, didn't we? we had, didn't you we? had, yeah. Mm -hmm. all right, in which case, I will... Um, Make sure that there are breakfasts laid out on the table for all of us. The barman is making an awful lot of fuss about the fact that, uh, yet again, some more of his chickens are missing. Um, but other than that, he gets you breakfast. There's not much in the way of any eggs. And sadly, he says we're out of chickens. Um, Stop stealing the chicken. And you have some it's kind of me. breakfast, mainly of potato and stuff. Um, and some very strange creatures which you guess are from the swamp, but you just won't ask. It's meat of some kind. Ah, tastes like chicken. <laughs> no, sadly, anything that tastes like chicken is missing. <laughs> no, no, no. I know, I know. It's, exactly. it's slightly rubbery and tastes like chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of garlic. You mean you don't um, eat worms? There's plenty of good meat on a worm. I don't have to break the door good off its hinges by any chance, do I? Just pushing it will be enough. It takes a little bit of hard work to pull it because it'll be a, a an in not an out um it takes a little bit of hard work to pull it and break the frost from the hinges but you feel like the frost will probably give before the door does Excellent. so you you give it a few shoves and pushes and pulls and eventually you hear it crack and then the frost gives way and it opens i told you it was secure <laughs> Yeah, definitely secure. It has to be said. That is most secure. Although, let's face it, we would hear somebody if they were trying to come through it. You certainly would. I'll step out into the hallway and see all the frost and all of the stuff around the side. Yeah, Don't there's die. a bit of strange white stuff on the floor now. Somebody's opened it, but yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, it's, it's... <laughs> <laughs> we lost Dan. It goes grave. Yay. Oh. 
we broken. <laughs> And walking out of the room I can't, I can't. is Ash and Lumi. But Lumi uh, seems, it looks like she's washed her cloak as well because her cloak is, is very, very, very clean. Breakfast, I think. And you can Sorry, head I, down. I didn't forget to ask, uh, does Lumi sleep? Yes, Lumi I, does sleep. <laughs> no, no, I, I ask because certain races don't sleep the same amount as normal humans and the like she does sleep she did seem to be quite exhausted after all of her strange frost stuff uh and she had a pretty good sleep as far as you're aware in that case go down for breakfast um well when everybody's around the table noshing on what basically looks like fried carbs yep um, <laughs> mm, i'm still waiting to see if emerus is coming downstairs oh right <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So nothing with the staff. Okay. Right. So oh, I mean, was a, in the evening, I was doing the staff, wasn't it? Oh. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Did Did you? Did, that's what I was saying. Did you want to do anything? Uh, I was thinking yes. I just to see if I can attune to the uh, the staff. I'll pull your staff details back up again. Second. Either way, when you do come down in the morning, Emrys, excellent job on sealing your door shut. Very impressive. Wrong door. Okay, you can give me a attunement roll, oh, please, Emrys. No, I'm pretty sure it was your door. All right, excellent. It was nicey, was it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, no, but that, that, was, that was our door. Yeah, I'm in this door over yeah. here. What? Yeah. Anyway. Uh, okay. Don't do that. Rewind. Uh, the I will hold the staff um, across my legs, and I will close my eyes, and I will place my hand on, and I will utter the words "Galug," and peer into the staff with my inner eye and feel its power. Something I've done already a few times, but it seems that it's just growing as I'm, as am I. Give me a roll. Hundred and seventeen. Okay, you you do peer into the staff as you're saying, and try and feel more at one with the staff. And you have been getting closer connection with the staff over time. And it's at this point that you feel that as you're connecting with your staff. that there's another presence and it would be possible for you to will this presence into some kind of physical form if you wish I do okay appearing from almost out of the claw of the staff is a little dark wisp of smoke that just floats around you feel very much as though you have some kind of bond with this wisp as it's floating in the air near you um, and although at the moment you can't think of any vocal way to express a communication you do feel like that you can feel its thoughts along the lines of it's happy to be free and about and 
and it's exploring its environment around it and the room that you're in and, and you, you to a certain degree although you always you already have a little bit of familiarity between you you feel it's like some kind of extension of the staff um and it kind of comes over and floats a bit on your shoulder and pops onto your head and and just goes off around the room slightly obviously i'm following it with my eyes it's Somewhat exploring the room interesting am i able to f using thought perhaps whisper it back towards me hold my hand out you, or maybe the staff and point to the staff you feel like that you have as a, this affinity of communication between you although it's extremely basic um but more emphatic do you think yes almost to the level at the moment though whereby you think only a very simple command would work so wishing it to come back to you it does float across the room back to you but then as you're looking at the staff it disappears back into the staff and in oh. doing so can you give me a power perception character sheet ended up shutting down for some reason. Okay. On a 94, um, you don't quite know why you think this, but you think there's something different now about yours on a power level. It kind of emanates slightly differently than it did. But that's something you'd have to spend some time and other nights or days thinking about yeah. and discovering. Uh, well. Okay. Other yeah. than the fact that while you were doing this, Briv was probably asleep, which is quite scary. Um, it is now morning. You all go downstairs and enjoy your uh, various bomb creatures on toast. Um, and have yourself some nice uh, ale. Um, and Traith is there after enjoying himself as an evening in the stables. Over to you guys. What are you doing? <laughs> Um, I don't know if <sighs> the shops will be quite open yet, but uh, I'd very much like to visit the apothecary today and uh, have a look at the standing stones or the fallen stones. Fallen stones? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I saw them when uh, we were dropping the frog off behind the apothecary. There's some um, stones in a circle. They're no. Just stones, though, right? Stones in a circle are a very druidic thing. We like putting stones in circles. <laughs> we'll come and see these stones with you. I, well, I'd, I'd like to get some clothing at some point, but... Um... Oh, yes, clothes. That's a good idea. People frown I, on you I if you walk around <laughs> naked and you're not in the woods. I don't think that the inn is possibly the best. We're meant to be laying low for a while, don't forget. Are you sure that the inn is the best place to be laying low? Our funds might not stretch that far. Probably not the house. That would also be very expensive. Not mm. if the house wasn't occupied. Yes, yeah, some unoccupied dwelling, perhaps. I just sort of glanced between the two for a brief moment. Yeah, I'll, oh, fine, fine. I got it. I'll have a look. But I need to sort out my crossbow first. Okay. What's wrong with your crossbow? I'll just hold it up and just. Ah, uh, that's why you couldn't hit anything. Yes, sure. We'll 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 go with that. Oh, good. Yeah. Um, oh. I'll glance over to Ash and Lumi briefly, and I'll try and lower my voice so 
not everyone can hear it. That thing on the door, the the, the ice. What was what's what what's all that about? That seems a little out of the ordinary. Also, not very you know laying low like. <laughs> oh, one should have been able to see it from the outside. <laughs> well, there was like little bits along the floor, and yeah. frankly, I thought it was something else for a moment. Do not worry, it is something I got from my bag. Uh, you got stuff that can make ice in your bag? That's how he stores the stew. I'm sure, he's got everything in his bag. Stew the bag, freeze it, that works. That, that reminds me, Trace. Yes. Now I take out the silver vial. All oh, right, yes. Ah, is that what does it? It is something from my bag. Um, <laughs> well, apart from the intrinsic value of the silver, which I am not sure how much it would be worth, would you be able to tell me what it is? Yes. Not the silver, the thing inside it. Could I make some sort of check to see how much that would actually be worth, even though he doesn't want to know that? Uh, you can do an appraisal check for me, yes. I don't know what's inside it. I can't tell you what's inside it. I'm lagging something terrible. Isn't it? What is... What's that? It's uh, silver. Yeah, do, I mean, it's got the, That's uh, not it's silver. Got... I'll pull out a silver coin. This is silver. Yes. Ah. You, Rave... Uh, it's it's far too specialist for you to think of anybody you could probably sell that to. Yeah. What I'm saying is, if this is a potion or something or a an alchemical ingredient or a a herbal remedy or something, could you at least be able to tell what it is? No. 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 Okay. Then. You, you, the you could do a poison deception, and um, you can also do me a. Well, it all depends whether you wanted to actually play a bit with what was inside, but other than that, no, it's going to be difficult. If it's an alchemical potion, uh, no. You if said there's an alchemist here. There's a herbalist, an apothecary no. here. They might be an alchemist. Maybe they would be an apparatus that you may be able to utilize. I missed the first part of that, sorry. Mm. Do you have any apparatus that he may be able to utilize? He had a drawing rack. Well, it is, it is something. for the herbs or his clothes. For dr for herbs, you could do you could do clothes on it on a drying rack. It probably would work. Mm -hmm. Let us at least, if we're laying low in this village, then at least let us make sure it is a safe village to be laying low in. Come on, then. Let's be about. The day is dying. So where yeah. are you going? Only just. Well, before we go, we stand up. Uh, Lumi. Do you not have what is the term that you use? A date. That's not the term I would use. Um. <laughs> oh, I think it's the term the rest of us would use. I think uh, an okay. <laughs> oh no, oh. an appointment. Assignation. You very much doubt that he'd be awake at this time in the morning. But you could always knock him up. <laughs> No, I think that's the other way around. What? <laughs> you think if you wanted a tour, it would probably be afternoon, evening? Uh, he had imbibed quite heavily last night, hadn't he? In that case, let us get up and out. Um, the day is burning and the herds do not wait for the sun. You go uh, and really you said you strange. want to pop pop into the apothecary and the supply store? On the yeah. way past, if they're open, yes. Okay, I will reveal to all of you the various products that both places have to sell. That list for both places is available in yeah. your journal area. Mm -hmm. So okay. you can ask questions about those as you wish. Um, just lost Ash's video feed. That's fine. Oh, he's back. back. He's back for me. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah let's try to tell the audience a little bit. Just do a quick refresh of the video feed. Two seconds. Okay, I'm going back. Yeah, my I think it was lagging out, so I've noticed now I'm actually up to normal speed. Okay, so oh, there it is. Yes, cool. So, um, however, you can spend as long as you want looking at those lists and ask me questions as you wish, but you can carry on adventuring without having to spend the whole time sat there looking at the list. So, in the meantime, you do also head over to the stones. Yes. Uh, they are a mixture of very large and small blocks of stone, far too large in some cases to have ever been carried, as you can see by the, the main stone that's in the center. Um, unless you were a giant, you wouldn't have a hope in hell of picking that up. Or a druid. You can give me a... I have stone law. Oh, there you go. <laughs> okay, let's wow. have a stone <laughs> roll. I know stone. Oh, skill to have. For those who no. have stone law, <laughs> no. Uh, please make me a roll. No wow. one else knows stone. <laughs> that's 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 not a a usual skill. People. Okay, a seventy-two on a stone law. Considering the the rarity of this skill, um. You look at these stones, admiring them as they are. Um, <laughs> Stony. The first thing that's obvious is they, even though they're, they're too large to have been brought here, they are not of the same consistency of the surrounding stone. Um, these stones cannot have been here um, originally. They are old. They have been here for probably far longer than this village has been here. Um, you don't think there's ever been much more to their makeup than what is currently being seen. Looking at the stones, you don't think they've ever been more elaborately decorated or placed than what you're seeing now. Um, which seems a bit strange because it looks like in most of the part that it's something that is just eroded and collapsed over the years. But you think other than a few minor pieces that could be shifted, it's actually all in the place that it's been for a very, very long time. On a 72, you also, though, can give me another roll. I'm not telling you where it is. Just give me a percentage check. Straight percent. These sure are stones. We need stones. Okay, you you think for the moment you've got all out of these stones that you can get. Okay. In the meantime, uh, Trace looks at them and Trace. <laughs> do you have channeling? I do. Can you give me a channeling roll? I can indeed. I might have channeling as well. I do. I cannot. Okay. Um, you wow. reach out okay. as best you can to see whether or not you could feel any power. The, if this was a druid site, there would be some kind of ley line power or a, an earth node kind of power about the location. Um, you reach out to see if you can find and tap into that power. And amazingly, on a 30, you do. <laughs> okay. You feel as though there is a strange power to this place. But sadly, on a 30, it's completely wild and uncontrollable to you. You yeah. can't tap into it, but you can feel it's there. Uh, you would need an awful lot more time to try and research to know more about that power. But surprisingly, you feel that there's some power. For the purpose that I want, I think, as it is, it is just about perfect. It is a circle of stones with a large altar stone at the centre. So um, if 
people want to go about and do their things, they're welcome to. I might be a little while. I need to do a ritual uh, here, uh, folks, and um, uh, with my staff. I'm wondering, um, Trice, whether if I just look a little stone, that be yeah. an issue? Yeah, it's... <laughs> Go ahead, take a little piece of the stone. Um, so long as you thank the stones for their gift to you and um, make sure you use it wisely, they won't mind. Um, Most don't really complain too much if you you know, thank them for taking part of them. That is because they are not, stone. There's not any loose little pieces of stone. I'm glad I'm not the only one that thinks this is very strange. The <laughs> only way that you could possibly get a very loose little piece of stone would be to use some kind of small chisel or something and break a little piece off. I hold no up. I, I, I take out my warhammer. That would not be a good idea. And then turn it around to the oh. pick side. That would also not be a good idea. Is there a way that I could kind of let this geography class? You could like <laughs> ice. Endless. Yeah, I know what you mean. Why they're talking about harvesting stone for? Um, the these stones have survived many, many seasons of ice, um, and they're at the point whereby they're as weathered as they're going to get. Uh, you would have to cause an imperfection in them to allow frost to have a chance of working on it, as they Somebody currently stand. <laughs> The, any, any, bits, any bits that could oh, be weathered off have sorry. been. Right, sorry, right. So, Emery. Emery. Oh, somebody asked me something. It was just Dan actually making a statement there. But um, I, I, is Ash bringing out a, a hammer and pick to and I, go I towards have, I, have war, I have a war hammer, which it's, is um, a, a trade group who suddenly got a bit apoplectic. I just thought it's just off. I'm not, not hitting it yet. Um, I don't think it's strolled up. I'm like not damaging it. Yes. I really do. But I strongly suggest you don't take a warhammer to a standing stone because smoking boots often offends. I'm gonna please, do not, please do not damage me. <laughs> and then, and then, <laughs> sorry, Riv, Riv, was Riv trying to say something as well? Riv? I did, I did, but I can't remember what it was now. It's, it's all right. Okay. No worries. About harvesting no. stones, you said. I can ask the stones if oh, they I remember give that. themselves to you, Bree, but it might take a bit of time. It's fine. Probably a, a week or so here. Um, possibly a little longer. I'm not too good at speaking to stones. I'm a bit rusty. Right. Uh, no, it's fine. I just it's an interest that I have. That's all. I'm just going to slink off to the supply store and buy a new crossbow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some um, weird stone magic things going on, and I have no idea what's going on here. But that's <laughs> fine. Because he who breaks a thing, can you can it be I'm repaired left. instead of uh, bought, rebought? I you seriously can, left part of wisdom. You can ask at the supply store if it's possible to repair that crossbow. What Which, skill would you need? It would be cheaper to do. I would ask. Hopefully. Well, it all depends, first of all, how well made your crossbow is in general, uh, the quality, whether it's something you want to keep, uh, and also what the difference is between your crossbow and the crossbows that they have for still in the store. Right. Um, what skill would you need to repair a crossbow? Bow, yeah. Or, or some kind of engineering or mechanics. Right, I believe my okay. crossbow is the same as his. Ash, do you want to give me an engineering roll first? Sure, I've also got woodworking. Okay, give me an engineering roll and a woodworking roll. Okay, let me just get uh Didn't create a macro for those, but... Uh... <laughs> okay, Trace, yeah. Yep. Yeah. We'll come to that in a moment. I just want to know so, the results of the uh, Ash looking at the crossbow. Engineering. Yep. Yeah. Okay, no. and then woodworking. Um, Come on, Ash, I have faith. Yeah. I may not know how to repair it, but I could probably turn it into a little bird. Um... 
<laughs> okay oh. you you look at the bow you understand um especially looking at the shot bows as well that the shot bows have got a very um flat plan um trigger mechanism um it's where rivs has actually got a a guarded trigger okay um rivs is a much better um, style of crossbow than the crossbows that they've got for sale here um whoever makes the crossbows though for the shop might have the engineering skill to fix the mechanism inside Riv's crossbow because his crossbow is actually better than the flat pan shooters that are available in the supply shop here yeah that might be an option i mean I, it's a bit beyond my skills my father was the engineer i'm just the woodman it's just not something you've messed about with and rather than risking making it worse you understand exactly. the mechanism of what it's doing and you just think that the mechanism that Riv's got is probably a better one also Riv could I have a gold piece <laughs> what for because I have asked for one it is ours let us share Plus, you may notice I'm currently wearing my armor because underneath this, I'm wearing my slave clothing. Right. right. Clothes. Yeah. There we go. Sure. Barbarian, I may be, but I also do not like to wear dirty underclothing. Right. Let's wrap up this session with Traith's little ritual. <laughs> yeah. Traith, right. so, explain uh, what you're doing. Right. So I'm going to stand at the center of the circle. Uh, I'm going to scatter some of my herbs around on the main stone um, and walk the circle. So I actually walk between the stones, actually building the circle around them, as it were. Um, once I've got a trodden circle around the stones, I will begin to actually slowly pour my power into the staff whilst also um, building up the spell. Uh, it's a fourth level spell, um, lesser druid staff. So I'm going to cast it as a ritual. Um, and what it does is it takes my minor druid staff and it upgrades it slightly to a lesser druid staff. Um, I have a, a chant uh, in druidic, uh, which I'm more than happy to do if you want. Yes, uh, please. If it's a ritual, you need all the help you can get. If I can get a bonus, I will do the chant. So it's always worth it. Um, so uh, the chant is... Le lichid obrach fio the bo harobo gun cran. Guineal could a a seeth na she. Le elen is good skilled drudin. Le ne nudu a de henneth le mothoil. And I'll repeat that over and over and over whilst channeling the power. Okay, those that watch this ritual see Traith walking around and then standing in the center, coming out with this chant. And. Although at this point, I haven't asked him to roll, uh, I'll just say to the viewers first, um, ritual magic is basically, as long as you've got enough power and you know the spells, you can cast a spell above your current level. Uh, but rather than it being in a very fast combat base, it's actually in a more complicated ritual base, and it's a completely different skill, and requires a ritual magic roll. However, I'm not asking such a roll from Traith. As all those who are watching Trace as he's doing this, as he finishes his chant the first time, actually drops to his knees as though he is in pain. He lets go of his current druid staff that actually shatters as it hits the ground and breaks into various wood fragments. And Trace seems to be in a lot of pain and problems what you all doing uh, i'm not there well oh yeah we were uh, and in that case emerson and lumi um, probably the ones who were watching on begin to go I, towards him i don't think i want to do anything i think this might be a part of the thing but I'm looking very concerned and kind of what to do <laughs> okay yeah yeah you're looking on thinking is this this part of the show or is Traith really in trouble emrys <laughs> you start to edge in are you going to hold Traith? help to what's your plan 
Is is he collapsing down on one, on his knees or is he at this you know, point he's actually on, on all fours in agony? Actually in agony. This does not seem to be like you would normally expect a ritual to go. No, it's definitely in which case I need to get hold of him and pull him out of the circle. Okay, you grab hold of his arm uh, to, to pull him. As you do so, you literally rip a large sylvan staff from his body that instantly, as you pull it away and out of his torso, he turns and grabs the staff at the same time as you pull it from him and looks up at the staff and you. Grace, there's a new staff. It came from you. And that hurt. That's <laughs> uh, not how it's supposed to work. Ow. I think my friend I'm gonna rush over and I'm gonna... use the staff to stand up with. I'm going to rush over and I'm going to help him up. He oh. is exhausted and in quite a little bit of pain still. That clearly was not the way that ritual was supposed to go. However, he does have a staff that strangely, Trace, feels as though it is part of you. Okay. You can almost feel a nervous system running through this staff as though you can Ew. feel it touching the ground. Okay. Uh, maybe I won't throw this one at bad guys. <laughs> and with that, we'll end the session. I do apologize to the viewers. Oh. We had the various bits of uh, sound and video qualities. I mean, it's the internet and everybody's at home, guys. Uh, we're doing the best we can. Um, but hopefully the next session, those will be fixed. But thank you, everybody, yet again for watching. And uh, press the subscribe. Press the subscribe. Don't Show forget to like the bell icon and like the videos if you like them. Obviously. Yay. Follow us on, <laughs> follow us on <laughs> Ding Dong. Ding Dong. Thank you very much, everybody, and see you for next episode.